Hey guys, welcome to this video. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a kind of shuffle function. I thought it was called like that. Um, in Visual Basic 2008, um, with the shuffle function, I mean like when you're playing a music and you want to um, take another song, but then you have like those pretty badly. Um, how do you call that? Well, when you play one song and you will open up another one. It is going to be like, yeah, it, you can hear that uh, the change of the music, like you have the intro and outro. Um, so, also maybe the uh, difference of the sound. Ah, well, never mind. Um, so, uh, anyway, I'm going to show you how to create one. Um, I just made up this form, there is no code behind it, as you can see. Um, so, this, these two pretty important I'm just going to explain what everything is this one you maybe don't see that but this is a uh, Windows media player um, you can like when you just create it, it you will it will show you that kind of bar under here um, you can remove it you will have to go to your properties bar um, and here you see um, oh well the recalling things in front of it. You see UI mode. You have to type in none. And, uh, well, a standard it's going to be there or default. Uh, by default, it's going to stand there full. Like okay, I could show you right now. By the way, so full. Um, see now I have this bar. And um, when you type in none, oh, n <laughs> oh <laughs> none. Damn it. <laughs> none. None. Ah, uh, finally. Uh, you will get this, as you can see. So it's not that hard to remove it. If you maybe, maybe you did not know, but you know right now. Um, so this is just called button one. It's just a button, as you may saw. These are two list boxes. Um, these are called LB playlist. This one is going to be LB playlist one, and this one is going to be LB playlist two. Also, I renamed the uh, Windows Media Players. Uh, this one is called Win Player One. This one is called Win Player 2. So actually, um, like this part of the program um, is uh, part one, and this one is part two. Also, I have uh, oh, I have uh, three components in my box here. It's CMS. It stands for Context Menu Strip Main Playlist One and uh, CMS Main Playlist Two. So, of course, it's kind of self-explanatory that this one is going to be associated with this one and this one, uh, the second one, with this one. Um, I also added a timer. It's called Shuffle. Uh, the interval is it's kind of uh, your own preference. I like uh, 50. Um, if you like a very slow uh, shuffle, you can put in 100. Or, yeah, let's default. Uh, if you really don't like... A shuffle or just like a quick shuffle you just have to put in uh, something like um, uh, you well beneath uh, 40 or something and if you just like uh, well a kind of between that just put in 50 uh, well it's just you just have to check it out what you what you like um, so uh, well my contact menu strip has already uh, add file remove I'm not going to re uh, op uh, do remove and just view my other tutorial on how to make a um, uh, when uh, a media player I thought I covered it in that so the second one is also having the same um, I added the hotkeys it's easy to do you'll just select this one scroll down all the way down in your property list um, shortcut keys here you can see it press that arrow Select CTRL or Control. Click on that box. You cannot see that. Actually, I I can't see that too. And um, well, select the eye something. It doesn't actually matter. Um. So, uh, by the way, if you don't, uh, well, I don't thought. Well, damn, my stop main is going pretty annoying actually. But okay. Um. So the Windows Media Player is not added in the toolbox default. Uh, by default. You see, you can add it by going to the right mouse button in your common controls. I like to put in there. You go to choose items, and it will take a while to load. And when you have 
something like uh, uh, the box it's going to you are going to tie go to com, com components scroll all the way down and check that one so well I got to maybe I got up to hurry up so um, I am going to pause right now because I have to make the code for the open box uh, well I'll show it to you when I when it's ready okay so I generated the code it's not that hard only maybe if you already spotted it I made a mistake and it's not that hard so I just copied this because it's not actually ready um, so it's just easy uh, in my other tutorial I covered this one too um, so uh, when you're copying this you have to notice okay, uh, look um, here I want to add it into uh, well it's in the context menu strip one that's associated with this one I want to add an item so this is the code for the CMS one uh, as I can call that one um, so it's just doing everything right but then this uh, the other this code is for the CMS 2 um, so when I import it it will be still added in the first list box and that is because I have here uh, still LB playlist 1 and it's going to be 2 not 22 so it's not at all um, so I'm just going to declare some variables right away so dim uh, positive and negative as integer oh, integer okay like that um so let's do the shuffle code oh well let's first go to this one then something like double click or something um, double click so then um uh well win player one dot url equals to uh, lb play list one dot items dot item and then lb play list one dot selected index okay so now you can also do win player one dot CTL controls dot start play video. Uh -huh. play I mean um so it's not that hard actually uh, from now on uh, or right now it's not that hard actually um so when I go to the shuffle button I want to uh, say that positive is equals to 100 negative is equals to 0 for some well I made this code actually at myself and uh, so don't claim it's yours so uh, I'm going to declare a sub called sync pn from positive negative um, uh, oh, private sub positive negative um, and it's going to um, I'm going to call it right here pn sync pn okay so it's just going to be win player one dot uh, settings dot volume volume equals to positive and then one player two dot settings dot volume volume equals negative pretty easy actually um, well I have to change some code in the form mode it's um, one player one dot settings dot volume equals 100 uh, well, volume and that is because it's defaultly set it to 50 and then you can hear that uh, jump back so uh, you can make it advanced so it will actually um, um, well check the volume state or something so I'm just going to uh, open up shuffle that takes so then if positive equals zero then shuffle uh, dot enabled equals false um so it's actually the same you can do this negative if this is equals to 100 then shuff, shuffle dot enabled equals false um, and if you do it this way you don't have to type in and if uh, it's just kind of 
easy um, so it costs you less uh, uh, lines um, so um, well it seems I have no time over um, I'm going to make a quick part 2 of this so view it click the annotation or something if it's going to pop up or maybe I forgot that or something so yeah thanks for watching this video uh, feel free to comment rate subscribe or email me um, my email address is at the video of the description um, so uh, if you have some money please donate to me at my email address um, so I can set up a proper um, web server so thanks for watching again and I'll catch you in the second part